Now, all this week, we're celebrating the people in this region who make things. Everything from uh, sports cars to beer. We start with something very glamorous, something iconic, something very rock and roll. The electric guitar. For Made in the East tonight, I've been to Vanquish Guitars in Peterborough. Ollie Brown, rated by many as one of the best young guitar players in the world with his signature electric guitar, handmade in Peterborough. Vanquish is a small one-man company producing one guitar every week with a price tag of more than £2,000 each. The first thing we need is a, a good block of Brazilian mahogany and this forms the basic core of the guitar body. The next step is to skim this wood down to thickness, to the correct thickness. Um, of which we use the computer-controlled machine, which we use for all of our routing jobs, etc., for making the whole of the guitar. Most of the guitars are given a top of Canadian maple glued on to the hardwood body. The trick is to find the right piece. This is exactly what I'm looking for, this area here, where you can see all these fine little quilts. This would make a lovely end to the main body part of the guitar but you also need to make sure that there's other stuff within the wood as well. The actual shaping of the body and making the holes for the pickups and strings is now computer controlled. The headstock, neck and the fingerboard, which is made from Indian rosewood, these are all machined in the same principle on the machine. After they're glued together, the whole lot is then ready for sanding, which is the next step. Vanquish started as a hobby in a garden shed. Now it's a full-time business. And in every guitar, hours of love. And our thanks to Ollie Brown, who drove all the way to Peterborough just to play that little bit Brilliant. of guitar for us. Mm. Good. Interesting stuff. Yes. Weather-wise, well, it's a little bit of a breezy, blustery day. Our satellite picture shows how uh, scattered the cloud was today. At least there was something in the way of sunshine coming through. Uh, in terms of the general weather, though, it's dominated by high pressure, this area of high pressure way to the northeast, but that has been bringing some quite keen easterly winds, and that will be the case for the next few days. Tonight, though, well, it's a case really of not just the uh, winds blowing in from the east, but also cloud coming in from the east as well. I think for many places starting clear, but we will see any gaps filling in. And you probably notice the uh, spots of blue along the east coast, the risk of a few showers popping up later in the night as well. But with the cloud coming in, generally it shouldn't be too cold a night. The overnight temperatures anywhere between 11 degrees in the uh, west to 13, 14 degrees further east. And the rather blustery northeasterly wind, that should ease down as well. But I'm afraid it's more of the same for tomorrow. We've got an area of high pressure trying to build in, but this little front down to the southeast is also trying to move closer to us. So it's going to be rather cloudy, I think, almost from the word go. And while many of us will get away with dry conditions for tomorrow, it is a case of a little bit of light rain possible for tomorrow, particularly for Suffolk down into Essex. And I think it's there that we may just get a little bit of dampness, particularly in the afternoon. In terms of the temperatures tomorrow, though, very much as we've seen today. Highs of about 19 degrees for most inland areas, but once again a really quite keen north or northeasterly wind. But things will change through the next few days. This area of high pressure will gradually build in. On Wednesday, that front to the south is going to ease away. Thursday looking fine and dry. And by Friday, although the uh, high is moving away to the east, we're also seeing the isobars opening out, so hopefully lighter easterly winds coming along. And this is the way it's looking in a little more detail. Wednesday, still rather cloudy, temperatures of around 19 degrees, still quite breezy as well. And then as we go through Thursday, Friday, more in the way of sunshine coming along and some lighter easterly winds coming along. So it is going to become warmer as the week goes on. 
and the overnight lows were a little bit chilly to start off with and then again warming up gradually as we head through towards the weekend. And dry for the cricket in Nottingham? Looks very much like it. Good. I won't go. take my coat. <laughs> <laughs> Have See a lovely evening. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>